Hello everyone, I'm Programmer here and welcome back to another Minecraft video and in this Minecraft video we're gonna take a look at how to use some very cool tricks to copy MBT data from blocks on Windows 10 edition. Let's get to the tutorial right now. So to start things off, let's see what you can do with cloning NBT data. You can do something like this. A command block that when you place it executes a command. If you don't know, I've done this trick on the instance structure tutorial. I'm using clone commands inside this kind of command block. Basically, how you can do that is let's grab a normal command block, place it on the ground, change it to always active, close it. After you close it, you can open it back and then put in your commands like say hi. After that, you can close the command block to save everything. Remember to put it to always active before you put in the command. So hold your control button and press middle click on your mouse and place it. It will just work. Isn't that really cool? Now this kind of trick also works with containers as you can see here. We get ourselves a unique item. So at hold control, middle click and put in the chest, we got the exact same item. This is very very cool and this also works with droppers, also with the blast furnace, also with hopper, but it doesn't work with entities so as you can see here, I'm holding control and middle click on the armor stand, it doesn't do it. Also in your minecart with chest, holding control middle click doesn't really work, you see here, this is the original item. Anyway guys, that's all I got time for today, thank you for watching this very short video and sorry I haven't been up since a while, as you can hear I'm kinda ill, so thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.